Hello, this is Osnap, it's Violet, and I am Violet, and today is Easter. Now, we are going today to paint Easter eggs. Yay! Okay, so first you just take a regular old egg that you would, you know, cook with, and you poke two holes in each side. Then, you take one side of the hole, and you blow through that hole, and the egg that's in the middle comes out the other side until it's empty. That's the first step. Now the second step is take a little bit of toilet paper and put it over one side of the hole. Take a little paintbrush, dip it in some glue, and smooth the toilet paper over that hole so that you can, so that there won't be any holes in the egg that you're painting. What kind of glue? It's Elmer's glue, just regular Elmer's glue that you would probably have around the house. Things, not like egg glue or something, just regular glue. We just finished step one, which is just put the um, toilet paper over each of the holes on the egg. And we did that to all nine eggs just now. And it's a very quick step, so you don't have to take that much time on it. Um, so, let's get going. I'm just, oh yes, the pets are here today to help us out. They're being very lazy today because it is such a nice day outside. Very sunny. And my dad's over there. Let's don't show him. <laughs> um, <laughs> now... So I'm going to paint this egg now. You can use nail polish, but it takes a long time to dry. So I'm not gonna use them right now, but the other things that we have here today are watercolors. We have pastels, which don't have to dry at all. So those are excellent thing to do if you don't want them to wait for them to dry. And we have these paints, which don't take that long to dry, but they still have to dry because they're paint. And my mom just did this beautiful egg right there. And for this, she used pastels and she used paint. So you can always like mix different materials together to make an egg too. So what I do when I paint an egg is I have something in mind that inspires me. Like today, it like was really like the garden is has these beautiful blue flowers and white flowers so that inspired me because <coughs> it's like the beginning of spring right now i know it's not the exact day of the start of spring but you know so i'm going to be inspired by spring for this egg so i'm going to pick some eastery spring colors so i my friend nina came over today and i painted her toenails pink and light, light pink and like bl light blue, which are like my two favorite colors. So I'm gonna use watercolors and I'm gonna use this pink and this blue, okay? So you can just take, you wanna have a bucket of water, a can of water and a paintbrush. Now, big paintbrushes, I mean, I guess they work if you're gonna paint like the whole like one color, but it's best if you use a small brush if you're detailing. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some stripes. Maybe this could be like a striped one. I'm gonna get some water in there with my pink. I'm gonna start off with the pink. Some eggs. Maybe not on yours, but on mine it says the expiration date. And I definitely do not want that to be on my egg. Maybe you might, but I don't. So I'm going to paint. I'm not going to paint over that because that might look bad. But I'm just going to do a big stripe over that. And now it's a nice... It's actually still pretty dark. Still pretty dark blue, but I like that shade of blue. It's a nice shade of blue. goes with the pink. Okay, so now it's kind of like a, one of those beach balls that you see. There's pink and then blue. Nice egg. Actually, I'm gonna go in. It's already dry, already. So the paint dries, the watercolor dries really fast too. That could happen. Never mind, the paint is not dry. 
oh you know what the paint like sinks into that it's dry on the egg but it's still wet on the the toilet paper because the toilet paper sinks in all the wetness and then it's still Okay, so we just painted some of our eggs. This one has a V. This one is the one that I just finished that I showed you. My mom's in the middle of finishing that one. My mom started that one. She's about to finish it. This one, my mom did. This one. Okay, first, first of all, I tell you, um, my sister, there's this thing on Facebook called graffiti. And she did this piece of graffiti that she just showed me recently. And I really liked it. And I just thought of it. I thought, oh my gosh, that's a great idea for an egg. So I had a picture in my mind of what was gonna, what I thought the egg was gonna look like. You know, basically like that graffiti that she painted, but on an egg. And sometimes you have a picture in your head about how things are gonna look, but they never turn out exactly that way. Like, I thought that it was gonna turn out like that, but in the end, it actually didn't turn out like that. I mean, I guess it's a little bit similar, but it really even turned out better than I thought that it would have. So I'm really proud of it. It's actually upside down, so it actually goes this way. But either way, and it does, it kind of looks like inspired by the picture, but it turned out better. Not better than the picture, but better than I thought that it was gonna turn out like. So I'm, I'm really proud of it. And that's a lesson. And that is how you make eggs, okay? That was very fun. And I hope you enjoy doing this at home if you choose to. Goodbye.